it's the Crypto Lightsaber back with another video guys and today we're going to talk about Terra Luna which is currently breaking out you can just see it peeking its head over into new all time highs at the time of recording this video so we're going to get into that but before we do quick reminder about collect coin some of you following the channel might have invested in the ICO on collect coin just as I did and this is actually going live on PancakeSwap at 10 a.m. EST today all right guys so I think that's about 3 p.m my time um i do recommend you follow them in their telegram group to you know get updates on that in real time and one thing you can rest assured is that anyone that got in on the ico won't be able to just dump their whole bag on the market because there is a vesting schedule for this if you don't know how to claim your tokens you simply just need to go to the website click on my wallet connect your wallet all right guys and it explains everything here 25 percent only of your allocation will be able to be withdrawn once it does go live on pancake swap and then after that it's 25 percent um every single month but most people that do invest in this you know they're probably going to be looking to hold this all right guys and regardless of whatever happens they can only sell 25 percent of their bag and 25 percent each month so that's obviously gonna you know restrict a lot of selling pressure on this token so i'm really pleased about that if you don't know what collect coin is it is basically a nft marketplace they have their own marketplace called monaco markets the first blockchain marketplace for physical goods obviously you can buy sell top of the range nfts there's going to be super low fees all right guys so obviously they're positioning themselves to compete with you know some of the top marketplaces out there i'm personally invested in this token like i said before and i'm looking forward to seeing how far we can go with this token they are actually launching at a very special time we're getting breakouts all over the place which we're going to look at in a minute but you know monaco markets uh collect coin definitely one you shouldn't sleep on launching on pancake swap this afternoon all right guys so make sure you join them in telegram group and um, get updated in real time for that okay guys let's talk about luna because luna is one that a lot of people are talking about luna is definitely a blue chip cryptocurrency sitting at around 20 billion in market cap in fact let's just check um on coin market cap and make sure um that is correct because i believe it might have changed because we have had a bit of a breakout since i last looked at the market cap so 21.7 billion in market cap the chart looks a little bit well it looks good it looks good but you know there was a little bit of a a, a little scary face all right guys for luna and i'm going to show you that now so i'm going to draw a couple of lines what we have is a rising wedge there's a few ways we can draw this all right guys so it might look a little bit messy okay so we have this rising wedge all right guys which is technically a bearish pattern when it's trading within this range in this rising wedge type of formation if we get a break of that you would normally consider that bearish which it is okay so it had a bearish break over in this area right here okay guys and then what you would expect after that is that it will come up and retest and then we get further downside okay guys but that didn't happen on this occasion it came up and it actually broke out at this level and now it's going up towards this resistance line up here. So what this shows to me is that the bulls are back in control. The bears got a little bit of control down here. It looked like it was going to fall to the wayside, but it's broken back out. And now it is back in bullish territory. Okay, guys. Now, when you have a rising wedge like this and it does actually break bullish out of this level over here, that will be super bullish and would expect a lot of momentum to come into that. All right, guys. Another way we can draw this pattern is a ascending wedge like this obviously if we just draw it like that let's just if we just draw it like that and it looks like it could have just been coming over to retest a level over here so whichever way you would draw it what you'll see is it has broken back in to that level there okay guys and if it does come up and then break this level over here we're going to get a massive breakout to the upside now one of the reasons why i believe that we can potentially be coming to test this level over here is that we have if you look very closely we've broken the previous all-time high okay guys so if we get a line and we draw that right here you see we have broken that level so we could hopefully get some more momentum a little push to the upside obviously we've got volume over here now one of the dangerous things is is the fact that it has already pumped approximately 46 percent all right guys so it might lose some steam over here however we want to see it stay within this range and get uh, that volume 
to the upside all right guys now one of the reasons why i think that we may actually get that and it might be a little bit early to say it but obviously we like to front run these trades that's where we make the most money and obviously you could set a stop loss anywhere outside that obviously if it does begin to fall down you would most definitely have a stop loss down here because that would invalidate this whole thing anyway all right guys but if we look at the ethereum chart that will be the ETH btc chart you can see we also have a breakout on this as well uh, breakout of a bull flag which a lot of people would obviously be watching all right guys so we're going to trade this accordingly but you can see we've got a massive breakout now, it hasn't closed yet obviously but if we do get a candle body close on the one day outside of this we're going to see the bulls really take control of ethereum and i believe that terra luna is going to ride with ethereum all the way to the upside terra luna is a very bullish project all right guys and there's a lot of bullish momentum in it because of the tokenomics a lot of people are going to be transitioning into stable coins at the top of this bull cycle and i believe that people are positioning themselves in luna to take advantage of the you know stable con stable coin side of that all right guys they have uh, ust but then what happens is to get into ust you have to burn uh, luna all right guys so obviously that causes price appreciation in luna every time luna is burned that goes up so anyone that's going to be cashing out into stable coins they're going to get a lot of benefits by cashing into uh, into uh, ust uh, ust all right guys rather than usdt terra a lot of people are using like terra luna as a um an, an alternative all right guys so i think that luna is definitely one to watch in this bull cycle so keep an eye on that chart all right guys keep an eye on that breakout i also have the chart over here on kucoin and obviously you can see looks very good there very very nice breakout we do have a four hourly close above this level so obviously that looks really nice okay guys and we want to see a daily close above that level just to confirm that and obviously we want to see more volume coming in and we want to see this run with ethereum so if ethereum breaks out i believe this is going to break out i believe we're going to get a lot more volume into terra luna and uh, watch this space all right guys so that's about it for this video collect coin is going live in just a few hours so make sure you keep an eye on their telegram group as well the links will be in the description guys i'm going to leave it there but make sure you like comment and subscribe tick the little bell for notifications and i'll see you guys in the next video